Hey folks, Dan Hager from The Six here at the 2024 Florida RV Super Show, and I am at the A-Liner booth here, and we are looking at the Evolution. This trailer weighs only 2,300 pounds with a 200 pound tongue weight, which means you might want to load some stuff in the front of the trailer. You probably actually want that tongue weight higher, but uh, just for stability. But this thing folds down so that it's in a box the same as a pop-up tent trailer. Let's start, we'll just take a quick look at some of the things that we're looking at on the outside. So we do have a large storage area and you can see there's a door, you have access to this on the inside as well. And actually, Lil, if you just go below the storage area, look at the stabilizers. Those are really heavy duty stabilizers for such a light trailer. All right, and we do have the holder for the door. It's not a friction hinge though, unfortunately. And you've got two steps that pull out. This is locked and you've got two plugs on the campsite and so this is locked. So I believe that there's mechanical in here. We'll see on the inside if, if it, if it is or not coming around to the back, we do have a receiver. It's intended for bike racks only. So you're not going to tow a boat behind this. Um, so they've got the, the rest of it flagged off. I do see an outdoor shower and I see another big storage door. So you have, you know, you have significant storage and probably what we would do if we had this trailer is we'd use one side for indoor storage and we'd use one side for outdoor storage. Hey folks, this is editor Greg back home in Toronto with some post show research. The A-Liner Evolution 15 has everything you'd expect on the non-camp side, including the furnace outlet, the 30 amp connection, city water connection, and a fill port for the 30 gallon fresh water tank. There's even 185 watts of solar on the roof, but there is only a gray water outlet as there is no gray tank, which I feel is a bit of a miss. So let's head on inside and we'll take a look at the inside of this trailer. And again, even up here, everything is hard sided. On this side, we have a dinette slash shower slash queen bed. And you can see that the shower is hidden in the floor if you want to use it, it just flips up. They're going to give you a shower curtain rod, which you're going to hang up using these straps. And then the curtain will go around, keep all the water in this shower pan. And, but when you're not using it, it's like, it's not even there. It's just going to completely disappear and you'll have a normal dinette slash bed situation here. So easily sleep two adults here. And then on this side, we have another queen bed and very easy setup. We just pull that, flip the cushions down and you're all set. And we also have a toilet. Now you're not going to get a huge amount of privacy in this toilet, but again, I always say in the middle of the night, I would much rather have this option than to have to put on my shoes and maybe go out in a rainstorm in a dark campground and try to find the bathrooms. So I love the fact that you have this as an option. On this side, we have a kitchen and We've got two very deep storage cabinets. And actually, I think the one at the bottom is even deeper, right? Yeah. It has the same fridge that our trailer has. So this is going to be a... Actually, this is a three-way. Ours is only a two-way. So this one will run on AC, DC, or gas. And you can also put it in auto mode. So that's a nice feature to have. So if you do install some lithium batteries or what have you, and you want to run on 12 volt, you can. Um, decent sized freezer. And we've got a nice two burner Dometic stove. Uh, very standard for this size and type of trailer. Oh, and we have a Dometic marine style sink and with the fold up uh, faucet. And then of course, both of these are covered with glass, so you can use it as prep surface. So we're looking at very similar to our trailer. I think in terms of advantages that ours have, I, and I know we've had a lot of comments about people not liking our bathroom, but our bathroom is much bigger and the walls are a lot higher. And you do actually have privacy in terms of nobody can see the business when you're doing it, even if there are other people in the trailer. I think this would be kind of like a only one person in the trailer, except for at night type of operation here. So I like ours better in that sense. Um, we also have the extra cabinet, which 
you're not getting here. I think we have a little bit more storage overall, um, but it's it's fairly similar actually between the two units because because we have the rising roof, we can't do overhead storage just like you can't in this trailer. Um, now, what you're getting is a really lightweight four-person option, and the big advantage that the A-Liner has over our Safari Condo Alto R1723 is that when you're towing, yes, our roof comes down a bit, but this thing folds down into a box, and it's going to be at about this height. So it's going to tuck right in behind your tow vehicle, and it should not have a huge impact on gas mileage, just because you're not you don't have as much trailer that you're dragging through the wind uh, in terms of frontal area. So these are a really great option, especially if you're doing long distances and you want fuel economy. I feel like when you're opening this, you might let a little bit of water in. Um, so, you know, that might be a bit of an issue. When we fold ours up, of course, the roof is just always over top of the trailer, so there's no issue. We can do it in an absolute downpour and nothing will get wet. I think they've done a nice job on decor. It's very simple. It's white with aluminum slash gray accents and then gray curtains and so on. Um, with ours having a little bit of wood grain in here and there, it just adds a little bit of a, you know, a sort of variation to our gray metal look. Um, but I, I think this is nice. It's bright. You've got lots of glass. And we do have up top a fantastic fan. And I'm looking just at the windows, so the, the windows on both sides open and the windows on the beds, above the beds also open as well. So you're not going to have any trouble getting cross breeze no matter which direction the wind is blowing. In terms of price, we're looking at $62,443 as the MSRP and they've got it at $49,999 at the show. We're going to take a look at one other A-Liner, so let's head on over to the other trailer. This is the A-Liner LXE. This is the second trailer we're going to take a look at. We're not going to do a walk around the outside, but just real quick, you can see that you do have a good amount of storage here, and you even have a little bit that goes right through to the other side, and that is nice. And you still have your plugs and nice grab handle here, a single step. This trailer is a little bit smaller, but it in some ways has a cooler feature, which we're going to take a look at inside. So coming inside the A-Liner LXE, and right away you're going to see there's a little bit more variance or a little bit of contrast here. So we have darker uh, countertops, darker upholstery, and then the light colored wood. Um, well, you can say in the comments whether you think the other trailer was better or this trailer was better. I'm kind of in between. This isn't my favorite color of wood. If it was a slightly lighter color. I'd probably like it better. But nonetheless, the really neat difference about this particular unit is right here. So you have more of a traditional wet bath in this unit. So you are losing the uh, second bed, but for a couple or for a single person, I mean, this gives you a really a proper bathroom, so to speak. And you can see that you have the same shower curtain system. So you can connect this thing right here. Simple Velcro, okay? And you've already got a pretty private area, but if, if you really wanted more privacy, you could just put the shower curtain and just run it from that corner around this way, and then you'd be completely enclosed while you're in the bathroom uh, if you felt that you needed that. And again, so you've got a bathroom in here, uh, you've got a shower in here, which is fantastic. We do have a nice little kitchenette as well, so we're not getting the stainless steel sink, but we have a sink and we're getting the sub same suburban two burner stove. And in terms of, oh, we've got a microwave down here as well. There is a little bit of storage under the sink, I can see, and it's the, it's the exact same fridge that our unit has and that the Evolution has as well. And this one is, but this is the same as ours. This one is two-way, so you're going to run off of 120 volt or propane. Um, coming over here, we've got some of our mechanicals down here. You do have a cable hookup. You have a 12 volt plug. We have our uh, carbon monoxide detector, it looks like. We've got a couple of speakers on the bench here. And we do have a cabinet right here as well. So 
Outdoor storage is pretty good. Indoor storage is a little bit skinny, but nonetheless, uh, you know, you're not going to be able to get this kind of weight and this kind of towability in very many other places. So this particular unit is 1800 pounds dry, it's 1795 actually, and with a hitch weight of 180 pounds. So your Subaru Outbacks are going to have no problem towing this kind of trailer, and this trailer in particular. So A-Liner really does give you some options for lightweight trailers, and they've got various floor plans. So I'd recommend if you're trying to tow with your car, check out the A-Liners. Um, a lot of people on our Facebook group for our trailer came from A-Liners, and not because they have anything bad to say about them. Most of them say they love their A-Liners. So take a look at them. Uh, in terms of price, this one is a, a huge difference to the Evolution. So we're looking at an MSRP of 34741 and 27999 is the show price. And that's a very palatable price, and you're not seeing lightweight options at that kind of price point. So A-Liner, have a look. Once again, we're coming to you from the 2024 Florida RV Super Show, and we'll see you on the next one.